Hi and welcome to another episode of the latest designs and fresh folds. Today I want to show you my flying heart card. Now um, this is a an iris fold type pattern. Um, you would have seen me use quite a few of these patterns on my blog. Um, so we're going to be working with just the wings today of this pattern and this will be a free pattern off my blog. Um, so what I want to do first is sponge a cloudy background. Now what I've done here is use the um, three different scallops, the two and three eight inch scallop, the the regular, um, I'm not sure what size that scallop is, the regular scallop, circle scallop, this one's the circle, and this one's the oval scallop. And what I've done is just tape them together so you can get um, different shaped scallops and size scallops as my um, cloudy background. So I'm just going to just quickly show you just a few of these just to finish that off. So I'm starting on my template and I'm sponging off and I'm just going to get all sorts of um, cloud shapes using this method. And just work your way up. Start at the bottom and work your way up, up your cardstock to the top and put your template on different angles and use different parts of um, those scallops just to um, give you different shapes every time you move it around. One thing you want to remember is not to I'll just finish that little bit there is not to go over like I've put my um, template here and just take your sponging just to here don't go over that cloud that you've just um, finished previously right so just one more okay and that's my cloudy background now what I've done then is I've traced the heart take your pattern put it on a window or a light source and trace um, the outline and because I'm not going to fold the inside of my heart here which you're welcome to do anyway um, I've just drawn a line here and here and this is where I'm going to cut so I'm not going to where's my rubber oh, I can't see where my rubber is I'm not going to cut this heart section out here I'm only going to cut out both the wings okay I'll show you in a sec okay so using my sharp craft knife I've cut out those two wings like I've mentioned and I've just left that that there um, because we are going to glue um, a punch heart over that center instead so you know you can see how that's going to come together already so what you need to do is print out your pattern I'll just move this um, tape it to the bench and then you're going to I've got to get this feed out in my head then you're going to cut that out with the craft knife and you're going to place that over your pattern so that you can see through there. I'm going to stick that down to keep it all anchored. Next you need to cut up some strips of paper for your wings. I've got a shimmery mother of pearl paper here. It's hard to see on the video but it's really um, got a really nice sheen to it. So cut up your strips that are approximately that size just allowing a fold to um, be placed in that. Now following the numbers, number one, so you'll fold that down and lay that down on the line of number one and get some tape and tape that down. Don't be too worried about um, what's going to hang off the card, we'll, um, we'll fix that up at the end. Okay, so number two, just remember not to get any sticky tape on your pattern because you will see that at the end if you do. So putting the fold on number two line, going to stick that down. And you'll continue to do this all the way down. I'll just do one more to show you and then we'll skip along. So put a fold along there. Put that folded edge along number three. So we're going to put a bit of tape there. So your tape's going to go onto this card here. Don't put it on the pattern like I said. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I've finished my heart and I've taken it off my pattern. And that's how it's looking already. Okay, so what I want to do is then glue my punch heart over the centre like that. Where you'd normally make your fold for your... Um, 
your flying heart. Alright, I'm just going to quickly show you how I've shaded this centre heart here as well. So just punch out your large heart. Okay, and you need more shading on the right hand side than the left. So I would just go in just a bit deeper with the shading on the right side. But go all the way around it as well. This is going to give you a nice colour depth in your heart. Okay, so make sure you've got a deeper shading on the right side there. Alright, grab your sponge dauber and it's got white already on that. And I'm just going to just dab a lot of it off so, you know, you can see there how soft that is. Um, I'm just going to add some white to the left top of the heart and just a little bit to the right side. And if you put a little bit too much on, just go back over that with the... That's cherry cobbler. Alright, so... I'm just going to put just a touch more on there. Now to make this little emphasizing um, edge on the heart, it's actually got a clear glitter on it. I've used the small oval punch. Punch that once and then go in and punch a little curve like that double punching it. Alright, and I've used my... I'll just get that on the right side. I've just sponged that in the white. You don't want it white white, otherwise you just cut out some white card. You want to still have that red showing through just a little bit. So it's sort of going to turn it a pink colour. Alright, and I haven't got any um, crystal effects at the moment. I have to order some more. But I'm just going to improvise with my glue. So I'm going to glue that on there. Just going to give you the little, the little curl on the heart. And I'm going to cover, you would normally cover this in some crystal effects, but I'm just going to cover like this, cover this in some glue just to quickly show you. Okay, so just cover that, grabbing your glitter. This is just a clear glitter. And cover that. Okay, and let that dry. When it dries, it's going to go the same colour as um, what you sponged on. Just a, that light pink, uh, red colour. Alright, so that's how I got the main heart for the centre. Now I want to add some little hearts to my card as well some other more little flying hearts okay and this is done with I think it's the heart to heart punch the two larger hearts on here and I'll just move this over and you can see here how I've cut a scallop oval punch this one here to make my wings okay so I'll have those details on my blog where to cut that and I've just sat them behind each of these hearts and then covered them with some glitter and I'm going to arrange them onto the front to finish my card I'm just going to um, pop my little flying hearts on like that I've just curled up the wings just a little bit to so give them a little bit more shape as they pop off the card and I've made a little banner here with the strip of paper and I've just curved it with the scissors and folded that over at the end and tied a little piece of um, string on there that's the linen thread all right so I'm just going to put that on thank you for all your emails um, about the safety of people in Australia um, please continue your prayers um, for their recovery and um, just let you know that we're safe and my family are safe and um yeah so enjoy and thanks for watching bye